Hello, my name's Paul Harvey. Welcome back to TMS TV. I'm the editor of MNIT, and I'm here with Megan Garmus, who's the founder and director of the Bridal Masterclass. Welcome to TMS TV, Megan. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, you are obsessed about <laughs> demystifying tech solutions like social media, automation, and AI. You, uh, you led a content masterclass on Tuesday at the pre-show conference. How did that go? It was fantastic. I, I loved it. I loved being able to share all the tips and tricks that really kind of broke down a lot of the overwhelming parts of social media, <laughs> AI, automation, all the things that are supposed to make our lives easier mm -hmm. and better. And oftentimes it seems so far out of reach, like we don't understand how to do it. So I try to help kind of break it down and make it bite-sized and digestible. And so. What do people generally have trouble with? Is, is, is it, does it change from session to session or is it, are there certain themes that come through with what people have trouble with with social media and technology? Yeah, the biggest thing I think right now, a lot of people are very um, afraid of TikTok. Afraid they, of TikTok. <laughs> they feel like <laughs> it could be useful, but it seems like it's for kids. Mm. Meanwhile, it has basically the same user base, monthly active users, around 1.2 billion monthly active users, the same as Instagram. Yeah. 80% are under 40. So generally when we're talking about buying power and who we want to target, that is exactly who we want to target. Yeah, this is not 12-year-old yeah. girls dancing in their bedrooms. Yeah. We have, we it's have everyone. people. <laughs> it's everyone. <laughs> exactly. So, um, they're, they're scared of it. What, do you think that's an age thing? or? I think tech yeah. in general. So whether okay. we're talking about AI or we're talking about automation, there's a fear that it, we don't feel in control. Yeah. So anything we don't understand, it's very hard to feel in control of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So helping people understand the benefits of TikTok, how to use it, some really easy bite-sized kind of tips. And that's what we do with our membership program is we, we break it down for everyone. They understand what strategy to use, what to post, how to post, when to post, and then how to be able to do it themselves. Okay. I mean, I'm pr I, I've not been on TikTok, so I'm probably scared of TikTok. <laughs> what, what are, are there a couple of like tips you can give me for not being scared of TikTok? What do I need to do when I go on TikTok? Well, I think the first thing before you go on TikTok and download it, you need to make sure that you set an alarm. An alarm? You need to set an alarm because it will suck you in <laughs> into its rabbit hole and you will spend hours oh, wow. and hours not even realizing that you are watching <laughs> all of these videos. It happens to everyone. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. watch out for that. <laughs> <laughs> but then understanding what you're looking for. It really wants to be able to show you content that you're going to like, but it doesn't know you yet. So yeah. it's going to show you everything and try to see what do you actually watch? What do you swipe through? What's important to you? And that does two things. It tells the algorithm what to show you. It also then tells the person who created the content that it's worthy of being shown. So the okay. algorithm shows it to more people like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty exciting. It's very exciting. When you think about TikTok in December of 21, beat Google as the most visited website. Wow. <laughs> it's Google. We're yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about Google. And people it's go Google. on TikTok I mean, to Google search. Google is a verb. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, TikTok is definitely right there. Yeah. So if you're not on TikTok, it's like not having a website. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. not being on Instagram. If someone's searching for you and you're not there, they're going to go on to the next one. They're yeah. not wasting their time looking and really researching you. You have to be where they are. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's social media. Uh, autom covered social media. <laughs> Automation and AI. What, what, how, can, how can we demystify that? Automation and AI are so useful, especially when our list of things to do keeps growing. The time we have to do them in is finite. Yeah. And oftentimes, if we're part of a company that has a budget, that budget keeps getting reduced and you get more and more yeah. responsibilities. So using automation and AI allows you to still manage all of those things, make your boss happy, uh, meet those objectives, but doing it in a way that 
frees up your time. So automation, sometimes it's something as simple as automating email responses, creating um, certain sequences that will trigger other sequences. If you use certain types of programs, uh, like a cub on board or something, and you add a hashtag, that will then trigger something else. If you use something like Slack and you add a hashtag, it could again trigger another sequence of things that you don't have to do. So automation's best for things you do repetitively. Yeah. So calendar invites, meeting requests, um, emails that you send yeah. out, client interfacing, um, and then you have something like AI, which can also help. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. You can actually create schedules for your events. Yeah. You can create ideas of experiences, but you want to make sure it's garbage in, garbage out. So what you put in as a prompt is going to determine what you get out of it. Yeah, so you've got to learn how to use it. It can help you out, but it's only as good as what you put in. Completely, Yeah. completely. Fantastic. All right, Megan. Well, thank you very much for your time. It sounds like uh, a fantastic session. Everyone enjoyed it? It was wonderful. Really enjoyed it. Fantastic. All right, Megan. Well, I'll let you get on, but um, enjoy the rest of the show, and thanks for joining me on TMS TV. Thank you. Thanks.